Hello, hello! Today I'll be rating all my Calotini's fragrances. I have five fragrances in two samples. I've tried everything. Some I like more than others. So let's see my ranking for the seven fragrances from Calotini's that I own. This house was founded in 2014 and uh, it's based in Greece, but they do ship overseas. You should know this in case you want to order from them. And we're back to the ranking. So, number seven. Number seven goes to a fragrance that I was really, really curious about. And I was, I, I, I thought I'm going to like it more. I'm talking about I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I mean, it has such a pretty name, right? On the paper, this fragrance is different from what I get on my skin. It happens sometimes. On the paper, I like it more. So this is supposed to be about cranberry, about um, patchouli, and um, I think about amber. If I'm not incorrect, I might be about some notes. Sometimes I don't remember precisely. But I don't really get that from it. So I do get fruits, um, but these fruits are not necessarily like the, how to say, the most fresh. Like on my skin, this one transforms into something that I don't like. I don't know exactly what causes it. Like right now from the bottle, I like it. It's like it's that type of fruit that has been, let's say, you left your fruits in the sun for a bit. Not too much. I mean, this is not bad. As in, it's not a bad fruit, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit like that. I don't remember the word. I know there is a word for that, but I just don't remember it right now. So it's kind of that atmosphere, that smell you can find in a market, I guess, in a fruit market. It's the fruits, um, the fresh fruits combined to the older fruits kind of in the air on my skin though so i do like that because i've tested other fragrances in this area and i like them but on my skin this develops into something i i i cannot even explain it to you but on me i did smell it on someone else and it wasn't that bad <laughs> But there is something wrong with me, probably. I, yeah, that's why this one is number seven. Unfortunately, unfortunately, not much I can do about it. Number six goes to Royal Orchid. Again, this one has patchouli in it. So I tend to think that it's patchouli creating that weird smell on my skin because I get it from this one as well. Like there is a certain similarity between the two. I'm not saying they're the same, but there is something in common. And as far as the notes go, I think it's the patchouli, maybe the fruits, maybe a certain type of fruit. Um, unfortunately, yes, number six. Number five spot, Sea God. And as the name might suggest, this one is leaning masculine. At least for my nose, this is quite uh, aquatic, fresh, super masculine, <laughs> super masculine. I get a lot of masculinity from this one. I would not wear it. That's why it's number five, not because I don't like it, but because I just don't see myself wearing this one for that particular reason. But I would like to smell this on a man on a very hot summer day. I think this one would be really nice. Yeah, this is this is like a typical type of um, like fresh scent, fresh masculine scent and quite, quite strong. Number four, is it number four? I think it should be number four. Number four, yeah, I wrote them down. So number four spot goes to AGM Salt in Citrus. I think this is how you read it. So, by the way, these are Eau de Parfum um, concentration and they're 50 ml bottles, in case you're wondering and want to know. Um, this is a freshy more to my liking than Sea God. This smells a little bit salty. This smells 
like a day by the ocean, like a day on the beach. Uh, you're on a terrace and the wind is blowing and you get that salty uh, smell from the sea, a little bit of freshness. The air is nice, it's not too hot. This is quite, I mean, the other one also inspires, like makes you feel cold in a way when you smell it. This too, but less, there is less in here. Uh, but I feel like this one could be super refreshing if you're using it in one of those uh, super hot days. And slightly more on the unisex, uh, on the chart of being unisex or not unisex or masculine or feminine, this is more on the unisex side. Um, compared to, of course, Sea God, which is super masculine, this one I could wear. I will wear, so this is why it's number four. I didn't see this next one coming on number three. I just didn't. Uh, I do have a sample. Uh, it's a 5ml sample, so there is enough in here to test. Uh, this is called Plumeria. So obviously it's built around plum, but what I get from it is a very an expensive smelling soap, as you get in a hotel, maybe. Uh, it's clean and it's floral at the same time, so it's like a very feminine type of soap. Like you want to smell clean, but you don't want to smell like citruses or like, um, I don't know, whatever, whatever smells clean, like musky, like a clean musk. No, this is like a clean, soapy floral if that makes any sense. So it's quite feminine and, and clean and soapy at the same time. I really like it. Um, I would probably wear it on certain occasions, like when I need something of this sort, like when I need a clean, super clean, um, fresh even, but still on the feminine side kind of kind of scent. Number two goes to... <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you're watching my videos, you already know which is number one and which is number two. You already know because these two are left. And I've already spoke about these two in the past in other videos. So, it's vanilla. It's vanilla and this one is, I mean, the price on this one, it's undiscounted. So, like, the full price is, I think, 18 or 19 euros. The rest is, like, 45 Seriously? This is like, this is nice. This is really nice. So this smells like, um, like a butter vanilla biscuit or like a cake. But we're, if we're saying cake, I don't mean cream, fruits, anything. No, it's just like the, you know, like the, the actual uh, base of the cake. So I, I did see uh, in the notes that this one has, I think, caramel. I don't get caramel from it, okay? So don't let yourself <laughs> uh, influenced by that. And I saw patchouli. I don't get much of that either. This is a gourmand. This is a gourmand, like, but a simple one. Um, I think this one is performing quite okay. Not as well as number one, though. You'll see what I'm talking about. And they do work uh, layered, these two. I tried it. They work. And we got to number one, and number one is the first fragrance I smelled from this actual house. And the first one I had, and that is Coffee Addict. I do like coffee and scents, okay? If you don't like coffee and scents, stay away from it, because this is super realistic. This smells like a fresh, but like serious cup of coffee. We're talking strong coffee, okay? With a biscuit on the side. This has a little bit of sweetness, but not, it's not overly sweet. Smells natural. Smells, mm, smells so good. Um, if, if you like coffee, if you like the, the, the actual smell of coffee, not what they usually have in fragrances, because they usually combine coffee with a bunch of other stuff, with spices, with you name it. Um, this is more about the coffee than the other things in here. And I totally like that. I, I'm always looking for a good coffee scent. I have another one on my list and maybe at some point I'll get that one as well. But this, 
this is so nice this is so nice so realistic um so as i was saying i think this is safe to blind buy if you truly like coffee on you okay <laughs> not in a cup but on you these were all my fragrances from calotinis the ones that i own right now of course ranked I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're curious about your fragrances, of course, you can order on their website. They're quite nice. I mean, even the humans behind, <laughs> um, as much as I can tell uh, up until this point. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.